my precious boos. I sure hope you're having a wonderful day, a super duper day filled with lots of fun and grand adventures. It's Yaya Christine here, and guess what time it is? Did I hear somebody say story time with Dixie Rose and Lottie Dottie Da? Well, if you did, you're correct. And look at these girls today. What are their hints for story time? And what are these costumes they're wearing? What are you today, Lottie Dottie Da? Girls and boys, is she a, is she a cow? No. Does she look like a giraffe? No. You're right, she's a tiger. And this is her friend, Digger the Tiger. And look, she's got a tractor here too. What do you think our story's gonna be about today? Dixie Rose, you know, you do? Dixie Rose says, it's about tractors and animals, especially a special tiger. It is the Flying Diggers. And this story is by Ian Wybro and David Melling. Are you ready to get started? Let's read our story. Yes, let's read our story. <gasps> Digger just hit the floor. Let's pick him up. Put him where he can comfortably sit and read the story with us. Here we go. The Flying Diggers. Teddy was in Granddad's garden when Ruby came round to play. Granddad was in the workshop. What does your granddad do in there? asked Ruby. He makes things, said Teddy. Look at granddad making things in his workshop. And there's Teddy and Ruby. Are these diggers any good to you? asked granddad. I've just finished them. Wow, said Teddy. I think this orange one is a backhoe loader, and the blue one is a telescopic handler, said Ruby. Thanks, Granddad, they said together. You'll need these hard hats and keys, said Granddad. Hang on to them. They're a bit special. What's special about them, asked Teddy. Aha, smiled Granddad. That's for you to find out. So you got a backhoe loader and you got a telescopic tractor. Can you all point to them? And there's Granddad giving the hard hats and the keys. The children were busy giving the diggers a go when suddenly their keys went flash, flash, and a voice came through their hard hats. Calling Team FD, calling Team FD, emergency, tiger cub in danger, hurry to the jungle, Team FD. Who's Team FD, said Ruby. That's us, said Teddy. F is for flying, D is for diggers. The blue telescopic handler, put in your special key and let's go. They went, one, two, three, turn the key, four to get inside. Look at them. See the emergency call? And here they go. Let's go see what they're going to fix on the emergency. The engines roared up and they soared over the park, over the garden, over the park, higher than clouds. Far away they flew till they saw the jungles miles below. See them flying? They're flying high. They're flying high, aren't they, Lottie Dottie? Yes. Watch out for those parrots, called Ruby. Whee! I love it up here. Me too, called Teddy. Let's hope we're not too late. Ozzy wants to have a spot in the video again, doesn't he? You hear him barking in the background? He's like, I want to be part of the story. But Mia would be with him, and Mia likes to cause trouble. Yes, she does. Then Teddy caught a glimpse of something bright and stripy. 
Tiger, tiger, by the river, he called. Stand by to nose dive, Ruby. Three, two, one, dive bomb, yelled Ruby. And down they thundered deep into the steamy green jungle. Look at them nose diving. See the jungle below in the river? The tiger cub was just clinging on his claws. We're starting to slip, said the tiger said, excuse me. We're starting to slip. His tail was dangling down and the crocodile's teeth were getting closer with every snap, snap, snap. Are they gonna rescue him in time? Look, it looks like mommy or daddy tiger is hoping he gets saved. You saved the tiger cub and lead the crocodiles to me, ordered Teddy. So Ruby sent out her telescopic arm and up went the tiger cub. Whoosh! Down came Teddy's front loader and scooped up a bucket full of crocodiles. In a flash, the tiger cub was back with his mother. Good work, Ruby. Then it was time to deal with those snappy old crocodiles. Dropped. I dropped the cub again. Okay. In a flash, the tiger cub was back with his mother. Good work, Ruby. Then it was time to deal with those snappy old crocodiles. Teddy pulled the lever and tipped them back into the river with a mighty splash. See the baby tiger back with his mama? And look at those crocodiles falling back into the river. You see? You see them crocodiles? Yeah. Job done, said Ruby and Teddy. Let's get back to base. The engines roared up and they soared racing through the skies. Higher than birds, higher than clouds and back to Granddad's garden. The moment they landed, they said, the last part together. One, two, three, take out your key. You deserve a rest. Well done, flying diggers. You are just the best. You see Mama with her baby happy? She's Okay, and look at all those flying diggers. Hello, you two, smiled Granddad. So what do you think of my little diggers? A bit special, said Teddy and Ruby together. What are you going to make for us next, Granddad? The end. What a wonderful, fun story. The Flying Diggers by Ian Wybro and David Melling. Lottie Dottie Da, you did another great job picking us out a story. And your hints. I really love your hints. Look, Dixie Rose's hint, it fell off. That's okay. We don't mind, do we? Thank you, boys and girls, for joining us again. And remember, you're very special and you're loved very much. And until next time, bye-bye. Say bye, Dixie Rose. Bye-bye. Say bye, Lottie Dottie. Bye-bye. Say bye, Lion Cub. Bye. Oh, so Tiger Cub, not Lion Cub. Bye-bye. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Mm -hmm.